Click the links to join the channel here over at Subscribe Star. Thanks to everyone over there, especially the guy who wrote that comment. Uh, yikes, my guy touched cash and then he made a huge donation. Um, here's the thing to understand in Comics Gate. Uh, Cecil is a Comics Gate guy, he's small social media footprint. He's got a small YouTube channel. He's not a, a person who does his own uh, thing so much. He's more like the rhythm guitarist who's who's really solid. He adds to other people's shows, other people's live streams, but he's he's like a catalyst that gets you over the edge. Way to mix metaphors there. Um, and he started a comic, goes, I'll do work with Donald Delay and do Cash Grab. And Eric Weathers, maybe. Uh, you got to give, like, you want to make sure you give credit. And um, people listen, to, people hear that, and they go, oh, yeah, everyone likes Cecil, and uh, he's provided, you know, free entertainment for, for three years because, you know, a lot of people don't super chat. And you look at it, and you're like, at some point, it kind of clicks in your mind, like, oh, I've listened to this, this Cecil guy for three years. He's made me, he's entertained me. He's been a part of my life for three years, and now he's selling a comic. It's like, okay, well, the comic and the shipping and, you know, a, a coffee mug or something. It's like, okay, well, 42 bucks out the door for three years of entertainment. You look at it, and you go like, I want to hand Cecil a win and give him a thank you for those years of entertainment where I never super chat, never Patreon, never did anything. It's like, this is a cheap way to say a thank you for, you know, 40, 50, 60 bucks, whatever people buy for, you know, comics and t-shirts and posters and crap. It's just an easy way to give him a big W and give him a little ego, ego boost and say, yeah, this is a way to thank you. It's also a way to give the middle finger to SJWs. And it's just a way to have fun in CG. And it's like, it's a, it's a cheap, expense you know if you fund a couple of comics over the course of a few years i mean i know there's some people who, who like have do are doing just amazing but you, you know if you fund a few over the course of years the stuff you like or the people you want to support it doesn't add up to that much and it's just a way to thank people for entertainment over the years and actually look at that and they really don't understand like oh you're having fun with this this network of people um it's nothing's that serious and like you're having fun to the tune of funding this guy to a quarter million dollars for a comic book, which a graphic novel from a guy who doesn't have any comic writing experience, at least. But he's a legitimately funny guy. But it's not like like you don't really want the comic that much. I mean, you read it and you probably give it away to somebody. Yeah, yeah, sure. So you just kind of it's just a thank you to the guy. Yeah, it's just a thank you. And the SGWs, that's not the right reason to buy a comic. Well, there, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. None of that matters. It's just a group having fun. If it's kind of like a little virtue signaling from the right wing, okay. Like, you supported Mike Miller because he because he triggered the leftists online just to own the, the libs? It's like, that's not a bad reason. Or or, or Douglas Ernst with uh, Soul Finder or uh, Clint Stoker with, um, with uh, Downcast because, like, you like the direction they're going. You know, they're they're doing these Christian kind of moral comics. I don't know what you call it, parables or something. And you like the direction they're going with it. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not the right reason to support somebody. It's like, it's, get fucked. How about you just get fucked? Uh, SJW. So we, any, any reason's a good reason if you're getting money for people. Anyway, so um, it's good to see the left wing step in front of these uh, billion dollar corporations and take any criticism from them. You got this guy who's got a social media footprint, talks about comics and, and movies and pop culture type of stuff. And, uh, and he entertains people, infotainment type of stuff. A comic skate fan of it's that area of the internet. And he decides to come out with a comic book. And most people look at this and go, oh, you know, I've heard him a few times. Seems like a reasonable person. Maybe you agree with his takes on movies or not, but just you know, a reasonable person you could talk to who's Who's not going to just you know straw man deflect at home? And who's not going to act like an SJW? Just a normal person, you know, an adult. It just a person acts like an adult, which is like shouldn't more people act like adults? Yeah, they should. But um, like there's a huge participation trophy generation that just gets worse and worse every year, where people are fundamentally not acting like adults, and they're you know like 50 year old Mark Wade, and you look at him and like, dude, you're you shouldn't have been acting like this when you're 20. I mean, this is like this is like a child's behavior. I got to call in Antarctic Press. Like, you're 50, bro. That's insane. Or, God, he had a, he was talking about, like, during the height of the uh, Wu flu thing. He's talking about, he lives in LA at the time. In his, his tweet, he goes, I'm afraid to leave my house. I've been shut in because of the Wu flu. And I'm like, dude, everyone else is, we're all outside walking the dogs. Like, most people didn't take it that seriously. I mean, I always trust the government and media. I mean, I didn't over the past years, but you know, you, you definitely should. And you, and you listen to these people and realize like, there's a lot of really weird people in mainstream comics. Anyway, so this Eric July guy comes out with a comic, you know, uh, you think, hey, congratulations, dude. You built a social media platform. You're giving the customer what they want. Doesn't seem that, like there's anything going on here other than just hearty congratulations. Um, no, that's, that's not enough for the SJWs. 
So what happened was I was listening to a stream last night. Somebody was talking about uh, CVR and they were they made a comment like joking about Eric July's new comic series, Isom. They go, it's not getting the mainstream coverage that one would expect in places like CBR. So I, uh, I, I go to CBR, I type up the search uh, like Isom, Ripa, Ripaverse, Eric July, and none of those things came back. And then I went to Bleeding uh, Cool, and um, two articles on Elsom came back, or Eric July's comic, and it was like real passive-aggressive comics where rich johnson or the one of the writers is, is defining woke and he defines it a certain way and at no point in the article does he go oh yeah but many people have different definitions for this word it's like no this is the definition if you don't agree with it you're literally hugo boss just like eric july here and so it was like these weird passive aggressiveness and you start to think about like cbr and, and bleeding fool and these other comic book uh type of online you know comic beat and there's there's about a dozen of them yeah, yeah, it's just kind of a success story, and it's not like um, who's the guy um, EVS with the cyber fraud because he's a known name. His first comic came out for like six hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars, something something really respectable. But he's a he's a you know if you're into comics and he's known around the world, it's not a big deal. They go, oh, he wrote his own comic and he you know did a million dollars. Like, yeah, he's he's a, he's a known name. Of course, of course, he did pretty well. He's got a social media footprint. Eric July's his social media platform is actually not relatively, it's not huge um, for the amount of money he got on that comic. And he's not a comic name. He doesn't have a, I don't think he has a reputation for making comics. He knows a lot about comics, but his comic came out the gate and it was, it was successful. And he's starting a whole series and he's got a, you know, he's, he's trying to start this whole company associated with this, a comic book company like Marvel or DC in the, in the heyday. You would think that that would be a big deal. You know, he's on social media. He's going an alternative route. Oh, but he's kind of vaguely associated with Comics Gator Fandom Menace because he, he does live streams of those people. Oh, so like a, a network of adults who are trying to help each other sell their products. Like it's a, it's, it kind of reminds me of like a Japanese or more of a, like an Asian business association, how they kind of do things. But I mean, that's kind of what it is. It's an online network of people helping each other sell, sell their products and provide entertainment and infotainment. And you go, what's not to like? And you're like, oh, you don't understand because this Richard Meyer guy years ago uh, was criticizing comics in his car on his Samsung in his Kia. <laughs> and uh, the comics were the SJW comics. So his criticism of the SJW comics was a criticism and attack on their, you know, their Frankfurt School belief system. So it's like it's an attack on them. And you go, but so he was just cr criticizing a public comic, you know, four dollar comic in his car. Let's. That's pretty common. His channel just happened to catch on because he's he's really entertaining. But he was he he's not an SCW and he was criticizing these SCW comics, which, which was like calm, reasonable criticism. And he was laughing at because it, it were, they were really bad. And for some reason, seven years ago, where he was doing a very reasonable criticism of comics, because of that, because his comics were written by people that they put themselves on this this marginalized and oppressed ladder it's like it's all imaginary it's all just frankfurt school nonsense they're above reproach they cannot be criticized but like those videos are still out there i heard those videos it was perfectly calm and reasonable it was just a back and forth between adults you're saying you're saying if somebody is like blt or poc or something like that their their product cannot be criticized and fundamentally when it comes down to it they look at you and go yeah that's that's where we are and you go, but this Eric July guy, um, how come you feel so comfortable criticizing him if you believe in that stuff? Oh, well, he's he's not an SJW. Okay, so like none of the things you're saying, you have no principles. You don't believe in anything you're saying. This is just all politics. Yeah, fundamentally, they have no dogma. They have no principles. This is all just politics. It doesn't matter if you're BLT, POC. You're no longer, they take your imaginary marginalization, oppression, disenfranchisement away. They take it all magically away. It's like, but... I, I thought I was like, if I, so if I agreed with you politically, I was on this hierarchy. I was at the top, almost at the top of the hierarchy because the trans are actually at the top of the hierarchy. You go, how is that? Because they put themselves at the top of the hierarchy and they're the ones who are advocating for, I mean, like it, all this is imaginary. So if you have a group that's advocating it for it very strenuously, they're going to be the ones who set the rules. And so the trans are at the top of the hierarchy and uh, we're even uh, an Eric July type of character is a step below them. You go, but is any of this other like is any of this real? No, none of it is real. <sighs> Gotta be careful here. Um, I mean, Dave Chappelle did have some interesting points when he did his 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 stand up bit about this. So you look at it and you're like, so you're not going to support like you can criticize Eric July, 
like Myers seven years ago was sitting in a car criticizing these comic books, but he, Myers' criticism of those comics was haram, but your criticism of Eric July is not. Can you make that make sense? And they can't. They fundamentally can't. Because this is all just politics. Uh, anyway, this could be like a really long video, but I gotta go to the mailbox to go pick up uh, some uh, some comics that people sent me. Actually, they sent me uh, a couple of these uh, these comics, that, and um, I'll do I'll do a, a little uh, unboxing of those a little bit later tonight. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys all next episode.